evening, Darlene Anderson. Well, special education is not a disease. Children with special needs, they're just children. How we provide those services, it's critical. They should be included in regular schools. And yet we transport them around like money. And they are money to school sites. The number of classrooms that children are placed at certain schools have to do with their budget. But guess what? It's not written in their single plan for student achievement. No services for children with disabilities are included in the SIPSA. So we don't have parents who are participating at the school site level, and you can't measure those benefits. And so when we're talking about how we provide services, it's critical that we understand that behavior is an issue of humans and transition is an issue when kids need to transition from task to task. But if the district is going to continue to allow everyone in their, everybody to document kids and put a jacket on these kids and they are going, that jacket follows them to juvenile hall. And it started in kindergarten. And the janitor might have wrote something that the kid threw a spitball, but guess what? It's in that, it's in, it's in there. And it follows them right down to juvenile hall. I just have a problem when we're not when we're not talking about children as if they're all the same. And I have a problem when teachers can choose who they want to work with because it might be more difficult to work with a kid with disabilities. But guess what? My son said severely mental retarded and communication handicapped and would not benefit from public education. And guess what? He graduated above proficient and that was because he had a mother that, like me, I'm a tiger. And I was not gonna let him not be successful in America. And I just think that when we're allowing school sites to give kids Z-coded curriculum, which is modified before they even try to do the work, and we're disproportionate for African-American children in special education. So when you go to Luther Burbank, whoever has a summer program, look at how many black boys are in that, that site. And, you know, there are just so many issues that I don't care if we have our own SELPA. We're not providing services equally to all children. And every administrator, not just Mrs. Bryant, but every administrator should be responsible to ensure that all kids are making progress. And that should be a part of the single plan for student achievement. And we should be measuring each school site. These kids do not have a, a, some kind of disease that's going to catch over and jump onto other kids. But the behavior and the, how do you call this, bullying that happens with kids with disabilities because they're in special ed. And, and just the mere concept that when some people say, oh, you don't want your child to be labeled as dis disabled, because guess what? Special education is not a disease. It's just old kids learn differently. And thank you. Thank you, And darling. have a good evening. And we need more support for the division of special education. It is just not something that's separate. It is a part of public education. Thank you, and have a good evening. Thank you.